Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Multipurpose Express Palette System Mod, or MEPS for short, which is being released by form user Thaya Gobbs. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a new palette system to help you with moving, sorting, and storing your cargo for your missions. And I gotta admit, when I first saw this, this just about an hour ago before recording, I didn't really think much of it until I started playing with it and thinking about the potential uses. And well, here we are, actually kind of really like this mod. So let's jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at the one singular part that we do get here. So it's it's gonna be a quick video here today. Now let's grab a lander can for size comparison's sake and then head down to the structural tab where we have the MEPS frame, which, is a very simple part, and if it was just this, I wouldn't be making this video because, well, frankly, you could use a structural panel or even, say, a grip pad to really do the same purpose of throwing some cargo onto to move around. But what really sold me on this is the variance of this thing. Now, on the default sort of frame slash palette, we have, of course, five different attachment points. One on each end and one on the bottom for you to attach it to things. It can also be placed radially if you so desire, but uh, really, it's those attachment points that I find the most useful. Once you do mix them, with the different variants. And the first of these variants is a pretty simple one, just really making an aesthetic change. We still have that same attachment point over here, but you can see it's a little bit further out than, say, on the other side. Now, what I really like is the next one, where it actually shifts that point not just out a bit, but also upward, so we now have it up here. Now we then have a, another one which shifts it to the side, pushing it out a bit further, and then to the side and up, and finally we have one pushing the whole frame upward. And the whole idea behind this pallet system is to well place cargo on it and then use these pallets to move large amounts of cargo at a time. And with these different variants that we have, you could say, for instance, put one of these pallets on in the uh, cargo bay of a space plane with that curved edge to it. This allows it to make more of a flat floor for you to put the cargo on. Or if you're using, say, this variant over here, you could use this to actually make a trailer bed. Just attach a couple of wheels to it, and bam, there you go, cargo trailer. And, well, I mean... You don't even really have to use it for cargo if you don't want. You could use any of these things, even just the plain frame, to build off your own rover or small weird little ship. It's really up to you. But it's where these variants really came into play that I really started liking this, especially now that we do have in the game, by default, robotic parts. Imagine, like I did say, having one of these inside your space plane hangar and you've got a... Uh, a small docking port attaching it to the space plane. You undock it, use the robotic arm to grab the thing, and then move the whole pallet into your cargo storage within your space station. And that offers up a whole lot of interesting opportunities for moving cargo en masse, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go take a look at one use of it. As I did mention, you could also use them as a cargo trailer. And so I built my usual little utility vehicle that I like to make in this game and just added one of these pallets with some wheels and there we go we have a cargo trailer that i was able to throw together in seconds rather than having to use a number of different panels and maybe some other structural pieces to make it you just have the large part for your cargo and there you go and if you did have a larger size of wheels you of course could have that other variant that did shift that attachment point up further to make it more convenient but of course for this size uh, this one works just fine. And with it, yeah, we have just a nice little cargo trailer that if we so desire, we could always detach and leave it to be and uh, just then go on our merry way. It's a pretty simple little mod. I mean, it's just a simple single part 
but it has a lot of fun possibilities. Maybe not the, exactly the flashiest mod we've ever looked at, but I think a very good utilitarian one to have. So yeah, that is really gonna be it for this episode. If you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, yeah, that is really gonna be it for this one, my friend. So I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one